Here is a late 1720s, maybe as late as 1735, Queen Anne low boy, or as back then they called it a dressing table. And I put my 1750s dressing mirror on top because that's exactly the way this would have looked back in the 1730s, 40s, 50s. Of course, this is a little later piece, but they would have had an earlier piece. Um, that's exactly what it would have looked like in the bedroom up against the wall for the man to shave and the woman to do her makeup and hair and powdered her uh, face, whatever they did back then. Very nice piece with a nice concave carved fan. As you can see. And a mistake. See this line? Should have continued here. He forgot. But this is nicely concaved. I'll take it out and show you. It's very difficult to do. Okay, and I'll leave that drawer out. These are horse bone legs. Get the light over here. Very difficult for the cabinet maker to do. This is a bead. It's not, it's, it's reeded, not fluted. Fluted would be inside. It would gouge this out. This is a bead. So he's got to hand do this by a chisel all the way down. Looks like a triffet feet, but it is not because triffet would have another piece, another flat spot here. So it'd be one, two, three flat spots. That has two. I've seen some chairs from the 1720s like this, some chair legs. That is just amazing that he could do that. The design, see the design on the side? The design here and here and here. Typical William and Mary. The drops are, um, you can see there, it looks like acorn. Looks like an acorn, typical Boston. Boston piece. <clears throat> go around the back and show you that. <clears throat> this has been refinished, so the back has been refinished. I don't know why they did that. Why they do this. this why people bother to do things that. Let's see if I can. It's all been hand planed and you can see there and there petitions going through and here you have the leg you can see some hand planing on that leg which is right here the hand planing on here on the exposed side which you would see is perfect but here he left it at this level because nobody sees it and why pay for it why pay for the extra work And there you see the feet back here in amazing condition. These feet have no pads. I'll come around to the front and show you. People are always asking questions about how do you know things and <clears throat> well, I'll show you in a few minutes. People ask this very often if not in the cotter pen era where cotter pens attached the brasses but notice how that's gouged out with handmade nuts this this entire bolt and nut is all done by hand why did they gouge that out and i'll do a video on that there's a reason why they gouge that out now this is william and mary construction how do i know see that center runner there and later in the 1730s, they put one on this end, one on that end, and left the middle blank. And see that middle petition here? See how it's angled to the back? They stopped doing that in the 1730s, late 1730s. 
That's William and Mary construction because as they transition to new forms, they kind of have a tendency to leave some of the older construction because they knew how to do it. See how the metal drawer there? There should be a runner here and a runner there later in the 1730s. Now notice this piece. Notice how it's angled. And then when you take, how you know some things are old, when you take the drawer that is the drawer that's here, and you take it out on this side, you'll notice that the angle is reflected in that dark spot. This here is not exposed because that piece of wood is here. It doesn't age as gracefully. This piece is exposed to the air, and look how black it is. That means this drawer and that piece here have been together for 250 plus years. You can't fake that blackness. You can stain it, but it, it looks at it from a distance as if it's old, but you can tell it's been stained. That's one thing that cannot be faked in the antique market. So you could see that nice angle corresponds, and that angle would be here. See that angle gets narrower here. This is the back, the front of the, um, the drawer and this is this front this point right here is right there so that's how and then on the other drawer you can also tell the other side because the middle drawer also has the same thing see the darkness and see how it's angled so that's how you can tell many times how old the piece is if it looks stained shiny it's stained, somebody's trying to fool you. And then when you look at the bottom of this middle drawer, notice how here you have that middle runner here, and that's worn there. But on either side, where it doesn't rub against the bottom here, look how black it is. It takes hundreds of years for wood to age that way. this drawer back and same with the other drawer see how the middle section here this has got rubs everywhere but this piece here is never rubs and see how dark it gets look at that big knot so a nice uh, very early William or excuse me Queen Anne piece greatly diminished in value because of the top being replaced in the early 1800s because it's a handmade top. It's hand planed. Some of these tops warped and then they would begin to warp the frame and you would that would risk the frame. So a very nice set late 1720s, 1735-ish Queen Anne, low boy or as they called it in the day dressing table. Thanks for watching.